what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about joker finally i'll do in this video this will be a spoiler free review for the movie aka joker 2 which is directed and co-written by todd phillips who co-wrote it alongside scott silver it is starring joaquin phoenix lady gaga brendan gleason katherine keener and zazie beats as well as several others so this is two years after the events of joker arthur fleck now a patient at arkham state hospital falls in love with fellow inmate lee quinzel as the two experience musical madness through their linked insanity arthur's followers start a movement to liberate him now joker folly i'll do manages to be a technically strong sequel i will give it that but narratively inferior it's a visually stunning film that kept me engaged and joaquin phoenix delivers another captivating performance this time alongside lady gaga who compliments phoenix quite well it's just unfortunate that the musical numbers halted the story's momentum at every turn in a nutshell i would say that joker 2 robs itself of greatness with the with the distracting musical numbers and a story that just didn't know if it wanted to focus on the romance or this trial that really seemed to just go on and on and on at times and yeah i'll get to that <laughs> so again it's been two years since arthur fleck killed six people he's been in arkham asylum since then a tv movie has increased his popularity as a symbol of justice against the rich and of course he's awaiting trial a trial that again takes up a great chunk of this runtime while awaiting trial he meets lee who we know will become harley quinn an unhinged individual that maps out a future together with arthur after his trial is over Silver and Phillips' screenplay didn't seem to know what it wanted to be. Should this be about Arthur and Harley's relationship or a trial that challenges viewers like me on what the difference is between Arthur Fleck and the Joker? Arthur's image in Gotham makes it clear who the public is cheering on. They aren't in support of Arthur. They support what he represents as Joker. So that's your difference. Arthur doesn't matter and Joker does. Yet this screenplay puts us through a trial that carries on to an obvious finish then a surprising intervention and an ending that isn't fully earned because of who was involved in the scene that closes the film. The romance between Lee and Arthur is believable, but the setup is squandered and pushed aside in favor of the trial that keeps them separated a lot, which takes away from certain decisions that this relationship makes during the third act. Had more time been spent with the dynamic because it is believable. They do a great job setting it up. Certain decisions that occur during the third act could have evoked something out of me but no they just all fall flat now this screenplay is quite humorous at times those jokes always land the most engaging aspect of the trial came when gary returned for those of you who remember gary i think that's what his name was from the first film the interactions the back and forth interactions between arthur and gary was some of the most engaging material in the screenplay outside of what was going on with arthur and lee herself just trying to understand lee as a character because they do a great job at making lee a very mysterious person even though we know who this is there's just a lot of i would say time that or lack thereof spent exploring her keeping her character interesting i'm always asking questions about her as the as the film progresses the relationship that's set up isn't explored enough as the film progressed so i ultimately couldn't care less like i made clear and it makes the musical numbers even more that much more insufferable they always felt random it's not to say an attempt wasn't made to justify their presence because there was however i couldn't help but think hmm these scenes only exist to take a break from showing us a dirty asylum or a courtroom that's like all we got in this film or just flashbacks to what was going on previously in the last movie joker 2 just didn't have much to say in comparison to its predecessor which was very compelling and thought-provoking exploring a man who viewed himself as a victim thought society had turned his back on him while this one kind of is just drilling that point home that they really don't care about you they do think your whole life is a comedy show and now it's being televised and they still don't care so my question as a viewer is what's your big message here that they really don't care because i already knew that <laughs> they made it clear they didn't care by the way they treated him in the first film and now you're just driving that point home so that's kind of why i see why people are not in favor of this sequel and the story that unfolds because we're thinking to ourselves what is your point here what is your overall message because your message just doesn't hit the same way as the last one 
which you could argue makes this sequel kind of unnecessary. But of course, it's a business. It made money. So we got this sequel. The screenplay isn't atrocious. Don't get me wrong. The dialogue and all of the engagements between the characters, that's all believable and realistic. But when thinking about what's going on with this trial and the fact that the, the screenplay does try to seem like it's wanting to be smarter than what it is. Ugh, it doesn't just it, it just doesn't sit well with me at the end of the day. Gaga and Phoenix have wonderful chemistry throughout. I'm completely sold on them being a deranged couple. Every performance is good, but those two, of course, are the standouts. Like I said, it's visually stunning. It's a gorgeously shot film with camera work that manages to make me feel a part of Arthur's trial, kept the story intense and immersed me in the world that is Gotham City. Uh, Todd Phillips isn't a bad director. I stand by that. He does a great job directing the film. But the screenplay is the film's biggest drawback. The musical numbers, like I mentioned, feel random. The score also heightens the events or heightens the tension throughout during that trial, especially. Fantastic costume design. But again, when it comes to that screenplay, that's this film's biggest issue. It just seems like it has an identity crisis. And it should have focused more on building up that relationship, the dynamic between Lee and Arthur. The musical numbers, again, could have been more could have felt more authentic and earned to the story as opposed to the more they occurred the more it felt like they'd only exist to give us a different location that's what it felt like <laughs> now in terms of the overall pacing i wouldn't say the film is poorly paced it's just that you probably again didn't need to spend so much time setting us up for the inevitable with this trial and then giving us an ending that could have been accomplished with the trial considering the circumstances that arthur is facing during the film i don't know man joker finally i'll do it's not a terribly made film i want to make that clear it is just a bit of a huh like are you serious that <laughs> that's what i get from watching this film and i want to be honest and just give it a a fair 5.5 out of 10 it, oh man I, I don't think it's terrible it's just right down the middle let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and in this video in the description i have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know there's any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video